Hello guys, Pierre, talk about 2020 release and um, I'm here to do a little showdown of what went well, what did not go so well and uh, we're gonna give mark to everybody on all the end of their uh, release of this year um, also we're gonna give you our favorite sled for this year um, and we're gonna talk a bit about that and what's coming up for uh, Pierre's adventure in the near future so stay tuned See you right after this. Today's video has been made possible by our Amazon program. Please check the CKX Titan modular helmet in the link down below. All right, at first guys, don't look at the styling. Look at what we did. Okay, so we have all the manufacturer and it's a launch event. It's uh, We'll judge them most likely on the day they are launching their the stuff. So first of all, did they announce the date? Yes, everybody did announce a date. Many days before, <laughs> where only Polaris did not. The on the fly on the day at Danadam saying, "Hey, we're launching our sled today!" Boom, and that was a great presentation. But no, nothing prepared us to that. It's just, "Hey, boom, guys, it's today." So on that, they may improve. Respect of schedule. Everybody was on time, but Arctic Cat. They had, they said they will be launching something. Their website was not up. We were not able to find them. They were not on Facebook saying, "Hey, we launched something." The only way to find out is through internet. Uh, they were leaked all across the place, all over the board, and um, they were um, four video on YouTube from Arctic Cat itself. So, respect of schedule was not that their best for our ticket. All right, for, so online presents during launch event. So, you're launching your snowball lineup. Where are you? You're live or not? So, Polaris was live. Skidoo had a fantastic life. It was the best of them all. And Yamaha was not live. They had presents on social media and YouTube. Uh, everybody was on YouTube. And everybody had a presentation on YouTube. Special note to Yama, which has put um, in depth explanation. We'll see that later on. Uh, and uh, we have um, Facebook presents. Arctic Cat disappeared from Facebook that day. We don't know why. And um, everybody else was there playing. So, because the score. This is where it hurt Arctic Cat. It's their website because it was not up at all during the launch event. Everybody wanted to see them. All we got is side buzzy, site not existing. I don't know what's happening. I know they were hosted at Amazon because I saw Amazon error page. I don't know. I know that Amazon is pretty scalable. Maybe for next year, but more resource for the launch event. You don't have to have them all year, but during your launch period, you boost your internet presence. And on that, uh, on time, Polaris was totally on time. Their website was blazing fast. Before the launch event, it's, it was saying, we're gonna be back. And at the time it launched, boom, it was back. And we were able to build sled. We were able to see all the lineup. It was well done. Uptime, it was up all the time. Skidoo, on time, yeah, website was up. WhatsApp was a bit slow though, because there was a lot of traffic. I don't know if they scale, scale their platform correctly, but I know that Polaris did, and they had no problem whatsoever with that. And um, for the uptime, they were up though. So two point for Skidoo. And Yam, their website was up, they were on time, and they, it was fast. So three point for Yam. Presentation of the lineup. So some went live, Polaris did, Skidoo did, and um, that, that Skidoo one was very great. Um, in depth, everybody went in depth, um, saw more than the others. Um, Arctic Cat had technologies presentation for uh, the world day of the launch. So I was able to figure out a, a bit of stuff, but uh, we, we did not have a, a gobble picture, but uh, they went in depth for the model, the new model, especially the Riot, it was very interesting. Um, Polaris, uh, their live event was not that perfect, 
but uh, their follow up on YouTube was great. Um, especially the Dan Adams uh, did great follow up on uh, on YouTube. Um, Skidoo, the live event was just perfect. They took twenty five minutes. They bring us along and show everything. It was in depth. It was on YouTube. It was everywhere. So no problem. Yama, no live event, but they did a fantastic in depth video where they presented every model, every new stuff. And it, it was pretty well, much well done, and they were on YouTube. So all right, for novelty, uh, nobody but Arctic Cat as a new model, brand new model. The rest is is just a new version, incremental from where they were. So we could discuss that with the Hindi, um, no, the, not the Hindi, the um, the Evo, RMK Evo, but it's it's most likely an Indie Evo that's with a longer skid. Skidoo yeah. Expert Package and, and so on. Uh, the G4 introduction on uh, the Expedition. They are not brand new model. They are incremental upgrade. No, they are significant. They are incremental update. Uh, Yamaha had, uh, update on all the lineup. The new front end from Arctic Cat. They had uh, the GT and, and, and so on. But nothing was like crazy new except that riot riot or no the, the the novelty title for sure innovation um arctic cat new front end um the riot overall the crank the sea tech everything is going forward we, we see a forward motion in uh, arctic cat text run and it's it's interesting uh polaris uh the new chaos um the rmk evo the new 137 skid on the Indy, it's, it's, it's great. Um, Skidoo, expert package on the Summit. Um, the new uh, front end on the um, free ride. The longer skid on the backcountry and, and so on and so on. The G4 on the Expedition, the new gauge, everything. They're there, they're pushing their stuff. Yamaha. I did not give any point because everything that is new to Yamaha Lightning up this year is provided by Arctic Cat. So I don't feel the, the Gwynine innovation from Yamaha. It's that has Yamaha DNA all over it. Their lineup did evolve, but it's not driven by Yamaha. It's driven by Arctic Cat that is evolving. So that's that's why the, the, the score 3 2 2 1. All right. So this one is for the general appeal of the la the launch event, what they did well, uh, all the um, tell us the story. So the full story of the lineup. I want to understand from A to Z what you're launching this year. In Arctic Cat, they presented a few videos, but nothing is is giving us the narrative of the launch. Polaris on the other end, they went and they gave us a full story. We have that, 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 that. Skidoo, the perfect live event, did a perfect job telling us everything they did and where they were going. And uh, interestingly enough, Yama did that too with their YouTube video. And it was very interesting. And even if they don't have a lot of Yama innovation, they were able to verbose their innovation or their Arctic Cat innovation, the upgrade of their lineup better than Arctic Cat did on, on their own. Post launch information how easy it is to find the price of your the new vehicle, the warranty, overall, the presentation, what's new, what's available, what will be the um, project you're buying. And basically, everybody now has something interesting on their website. You can search this thing, you can find information you can find pricing you can have an idea of what warranty you're you're having and overall that is well done for everybody at, the, at this point overall quality of the launch even i would say that the absence of live presence for arctic cat because they're at that point i i wanted to have a show saying we have that at arctic cat this year it's we're going for the Alpha one, we were going for the Riot and, and so on, the ZR, the Thundercat. And, and just bring that together and say, that's that's what we're launching this year. 
and it's it's what we want from uh, 2020 and everybody did that but Articat. all right so final score we go Articat because they had problem a bit with the schedule their online presence that's that's what you, what killed them this year is, is their online presence it's the narrative it's the lack of story the lack of hey come and see me it's cool now now we have that juicy factor with snowmargeddon but it was not there during the launch event it, that's what caused them the most point uh end to end skidu and polaris are on top followed by yama and um Though the presentation of Skidoo was better, um, where they, as they have lost a point, I think that could have earned them the title this year, was their website. It was slow during the launch even. And Polaris did hold up really well. And um, if they had a new model, brand new model, they would have won. Um, so. To me, uh, it's, it's very tight. Um, if Polaris would have respect the schedule, uh, in terms, of, they they did respect the schedule, but put a schedule in front, like five days before. Hey, come come see us on Monday. We have a show. That that is the thing I wanted to see. Um, they could have won the title this year. Um, a new model could have won the title this year, um, and more quality on the launch even. In terms of the live event, full in depth, you see, we were having a better feeling with Skidoo. I think it's a winner, but the score I have here is not telling that. But I think Skidoo is a spiritual winner for this year in terms of their overall launch quality. And come in second, Polaris, and then Yamaha. Um, Yama overall, in terms of how they end all the lunch, that's very well. What they have to present is, is where they, 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 they lose a bit of appeal, in my point of view. All right, what's it most interesting to me in terms of new things for 2020? Uh, sure, the chaos is um, from Polaris. I find it very interesting that they, they have a narrow rail system that make it more flexible and more versatile. Um, with the, the adjustable chalk package, it's very interesting to see. Also, the Arum Kevo, I find it interesting from Polaris and um, the 137 skid on that in the um, XC, that is also interesting. All three things from uh, Skidoo interest me the most, um, expert package on the summit, um, the new 154 uh, backcountry. I still like the backcountry, it's, uh, it's one of my favorite. And um, definitely the expedition in G4 uh, with uh, the ex extreme, uh, the 850 is very interesting. Uh, that 900 turbo is also interesting. From so, Articast is the new Riot. I want to try it. And that's where I have the news for you. Um, I'm trying one probably next week. Uh, I was able to arrange um, a dealer trial. So I will have a reportage on that. and. Um, that is very interesting to me all right thanks for being with me today guys uh, that's how i feel overall with uh, the launch of this year i'm very excited to have uh, a trial on the 2020 riot it's it's gonna be cool um i hope to be able to produce that next week and i will also have pretty shortly i have a rock sore um the new etv from mahindra uh that i will have a, a video about and um and then it's gonna be back to fishing UTV in uh, another fishing season. I'm pretty much stoked about it. Um, we will have a lot of things to show around here. So stay tuned. And if you don't want to miss anything, click the subscribe button. Maybe hit the bell icon if you want to have a notification every time I'm putting something online. And uh, on that, like the video and we'll see you in the next one.